dock in there, so we can take that out too. Measure twice, cut once. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to be cutting the, uh, or ripping the grooves into the end panels for the plexi. And one of the more important things you want to do here is make sure that your blade is not set too deep so that it cuts through the entire board. You only really want it to go about a, a third of the way there. Or a half would be good probably, give you a little extra play for your, for your plexi. Um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is measure off the line where it needs to be. We'll do that here in just a second and set our guard and then we can rip our groove. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to set the uh, width or the width that we want it ripped in. We're going to set ours at a uh, half an inch. Right in there. And now what we'll do is you're going to want to have it on this side of the of the blade instead of on that side so that we get a nice straight rip down it. And away we go. And there's your groove for your plexiglass to ride in. Alright, we're going to go ahead and rip down our 12 by 12 Lexan to a 12 by 6 for the sides of the, uh, I guess for the front and the back of the uh, house there. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you, if you have messed up or taken off one side by accident or it only comes with coating on one side, you definitely want to make sure that you put that side down on the table of the saw, um, whatever kind of saw you're using. I like to use a band saw because it makes less little hard plastic chips that come up and hit you in the head, in the face. Um, so you definitely want to put the plastic down like that and then just slide it through. So we'll do that now. And there you have your 12 by 6 panels. Alright, we're going to set our saw for the angle rips on top. We're going to be using 37 and a half degrees on ours. Get that locked in and be sure to run the blade up to where it will cut all the way through the wood. Alright. Alright, this is what I like to do to get the, uh, the correct break point here on your angle. Uh, because I don't want to stick our pieces that we have cut to length and everything, I'm going to test it out on a piece of scrap. Uh, this is the piece we cut off the end to square it up that had a little knot in it. What we're going to want to do is we've got our angle set and to get our point correct right here what I like to do is just take a piece of scrap like this and lock down your guide and give it a test run through there and adjust it as necessary side to side. So let's do that real quick. Another thing to remember is when you're uh, ripping any kind of piece of wood like that on an angle, your wood is going to want to ride high because of the angle of the blade and the spin. Um, so you need to be sure to keep plenty of pressure down and against your guide. Also, any strips or small pieces that come off, you really need to uh, watch those as with any time to make sure they don't uh, come back off the blade towards you. <laughs> 